Hello and welcome to the Lads Talk podcast. I'm sure this video first and foremost is a surprise for many people. The last time uh, you heard from us, you were literally hearing from us because it was audio. Uh, and for season two, we thought it was time for a bit of a change. I'm still Sadiq uh, in the flesh. And here we have Jamie. We also have Garis. Um, and then Yal, if you start hearing uh, voices off, uh, off camera, uh, you are not being haunted is Daniel you are listening to who is in incognito mode. Um, so we thought season two we start off uh, with a bit of a bang. Um, we'll dive straight in. Um, but first and foremost before season two it's nearly you know it's been almost a year since we started Lads Talk uh, the Lads Talk podcast and we've got 291 subscribers last I checked. Uh, we've had a bit of a break so it's it's surprising that people are still here. Um, and yeah, so we're moving forward, moving on. Um, so we hope you stick around, but thank you very much for everyone who's subscribed so far. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. There's nothing wrong with subscribing. Um, yeah, do subscribe to the Last Talk podcast, follow us on our socials. But without further ado, uh, we said we wanted to start off season two with a bang. Uh, and what better topic to cover than the one which is on everyone's minds right now. Uh, Palestine and Israel uh, there's a lot of things we can talk about um, we could go into explaining the situation where it started and so on and so forth uh, so I guess I'll do that for a little bit if you want to know you know a, a proper summary of you know where all this conflict started type it on YouTube there's plenty of videos do some research it's very important for you to know because at the end of the day innocent people are being killed uh, and before I forget uh, in today's description, if you wanted to donate to charity to help those who have been affected by the war and, you know, by the conflict, there is a link uh, today in below's um, video where you can use to donate. <clears throat> now, Israel and Palestine. Okay. Uh, in summary, for the past 75 years, Palestine, which was its own state, its own country, um, was gifted to Israel or the people of Israel by the British, who did not own the land in the first place, to give it away, to gift it away. It's like someone coming to this uh, home and saying to Garris, for example, saying to Garris, Garris, from today, this home is yours. Okay, and then Garris moves in, he gets all his stuff, he moves in and he chucks my stuff onto the street and says, you go, you're only allowed to go live in next to the dustbins. That's the equivalent, if I was to summarize the situation, that's what is happening currently okay now obviously this has been built up for 75 years cons constantly happening and there is a group called Hamas a terrorist organization and Hamas they uh, recently on October the 7th they committed uh, a terrorist act where they uh, took hostages they attacked people at a festival shot people which of course lost uh, resulted in the loss of civilians lives uh, lives uh, you can catch all of these things from news uh, but just a brief history. In retaliation, Israel, the government, uh, they decided to retaliate by engaging in war crimes. Uh, for example, cutting off electricity, food, uh, putting you know concrete in the water system, uh, and also bombing innocent people. And we'll talk about that, we'll get into it, but just so you understand what kind of point of view we're coming from um, and what we're going to discuss today. Now, to go forward... Um, you know, what's the point of us here? What, what is actually the point of us here sitting here talking about this topic? Uh, because if you look at media and you look at, for example, BBC, Sky News, etc. Uh, you see a narrative being played out that Israel is a victim and, you know, they can defend itself. They can do whatever they want. Um, but the problem with that is there is, uh, you know, the Palestinian lives that are being affected. This is not being covered and there's not being... You know, there's not a fair voice being given to the public to see that, you know what, it's not just Israel being affected, there's Palestinian lives. And if you look at the data, there's more Palestinian lives being effective, affected rather than, you know, the actual terrorists that they're going after. It doesn't seem like they're going after the terrorists. That's the discussion that we're having today. Um, so what does everyone, you know, before I carry on talking and yammering on, what does everyone know currently about the situation? Is what I've said, does it characterize everything you know so far? Uh, or is there anything that you could add? Anyone? No? It's okay? Daniel? 
Anything to add? So far? Um, not really. Okay, fine, fair enough. So, um, I mentioned the media. I mentioned um, the news, uh, Sky News, BBC News. They're very biased. They're not really giving a fair um, representation of what's happening, okay? But where did you guys first... I know where I got it from, but where did you guys first hear about this whole conflict? Where did it come from? So... So I heard it from um, social. Um, I heard it from TikTok, and that's where I learned about all the history between Israel Palestine and about the whole war going on for the past seventy five years. And yeah. And uh, what about you know where did everyone else kind of pick pick this up from? Is it, is it just social media or media? Jamie, what would you say? Um, where did I get it from? <laughs> I think it was Garris. I mean, you and Daniel showed me it. You two were showing me stuff on social media from from this month, the whole of this month. So I think it's fair to say most of us got it from, let's say, TikTok, or we got it from YouTube, YouTube Shorts. You know, these kind of things, these kind of outlets, maybe newspapers online, Telegraph or Daily Mirror, whoever. I believe most people understand the conflict from social media. And I think, to be honest... I'm very grateful for social media because the way it's, like I've, I'm ke- I keep saying, the way it's been cat- characterized by normal media is as if Israel can do whatever it wants. It has the right to defend itself, which we keep on hearing. But, you know, like cu- like I said, it's a war crime. You can't cut off people's electricity. You can't cut off their food, their water supply. It's not fair. And uh, it's it's not humane as well. You know, you can't, you can't be, uh, a country can't, get away with these kind of things this is the kind of stuff we expect terrorists to do no uh, isn't it more expected that a terrorist would cut off people's water a terrorist would bomb indiscriminately imagine bombing a hospital bombing a church yesterday just yesterday the uh, i'm saying yesterday is uh, saturday 21st october today just yesterday they bombed the third largest church in the world in in gaza so it's not exactly again it's not a muslim issue this is a muslim uh, this is a Palestinian issue. Palestine, there's, there's Christians in Palestine, there's Jews in Palestine, there's Muslims. They're bombing indiscriminately. They're not targeting Hamas. They're targeting people, normal, regular people. And, you know, if every country did that, then, you know, what would what would happen? And where's the outcry? You look at Russia, for example. When Russia started attacking Ukraine and Ukraine was impeaching on Russia's land and stuff and they were attacking Ukraine, where was the outcry then? Where was the uh, Where was the support? Everyone supported Ukraine. And what was the quote? Shall I tell you the most dangerous quote? I've got it written here. There was news, uh, what do you call them? Journalists, reporters, yeah? Do you know what they were saying? They were saying, Ukraine? Oh my goodness, this is not a third world country. These are white, you know, white European people. These are blonde hair and blue eyed people. You know, this isn't expected from these civilized people. What does that mean? Bombs and wars and violence belongs in the Middle East. It belongs in Asian communities. It belongs in African communities. It doesn't belong with us Europeans. The kind of racist rhetoric that we're seeing is why I'm very grateful that social media exists, that TikTok exists, that YouTube exists. Because uh, if you and I will stop talking. In if you look at the past, uh, if you look at the past, the Iraq War, Afghanistan, our information, our news came from BBC News, Sky News, CNN. Fox News. That's where our source was. We had no social media. We have we had no one with a phone recording everything and then sending it on WhatsApp or sending it, put it on X or Twitter, whatever it's called, Facebook. There was no such thing like that. Um, and I think that's really important. So, Gareth, you mentioned TikTok, okay, that you got most of your information on TikTok. So, what day did you first see this stuff? And then when, how did you start, you know, how, how did you start going into it down the rabbit hole? I don't remember... <clears throat> I don't remember the exact day that I start seeing it, but you know, once this whole um, issue of the war with Palestine and Israel started to get all around the news, that's when I came in TikTok. And uh, from that day onwards, um, yeah, my TikTok's all over it. So I watch TikTok, you can say 50 50. I'm not that addicted, but I am. But um, yeah, so literally every time I just scroll, it's just about you know, Israel-Palestine, and that's how I really learn about them. And like, um, you know, like every day that, you know, they're sending airstrikes, bombs, that, that's how I find out through TikTok, that this has happened, this many people's lives 
uh, have been lost and you know like small clips we've seen online like um it's very sad to see you know like the doctor's son you know i'm pretty sure everyone's seen it that goes to the mortuary and just finds and you know stuff like that that's just one of many examples and um so i lost daniel as well then yeah uh TikTok is one Instagram sorry I forgot and if everyone that you're listening here for technical reasons so if I'm looking in an awkward way I don't want to pretend he's sitting here but um Instagram is something that you use isn't it yeah so um for <coughs> for Instagram uh, with Instagram you know what was it like on Instagram because TikTok is Chinese I think uh, Chinese funded or you know Chinese what do you call the manufacturers or something yeah developers mm-hmm. so i don't know their filtering system the way they do it is different to other social mm-hmm. media apps so what was your response with you know instagram how does instagram how did instagram for you approach this kind of media sharing about palestine and israel the the conflict with um basically with instagram is owned by facebook and uh, obviously the creator of facebook he supports um, israel so s- they pretty much blur certain content called shadow banning uh, and i have a platform myself where i post like reminders and stuff and uh, i post about palestine and stuff and my content got shadow banned can you explain um... Sh- shadow ban pretty much means let's say there's a topic on instagram that they don't like they'll blur all the content so let's say you have like 10000 followers or whatever only like a certain amount of people will be able to view it probably like 10 20 or something like that i think depends on how many followers they have as well so let's say they have 10 followers if they repost your content it wouldn't really reach out to more people so they try to like blur it and keep it to yourself because in a way they are scared they they have even if you have such a small platform they're scared that you're going to reach out to people you're going to like tell them the truth and they want to dictate what everyone thinks pretty much but whereas if you go on tiktok it's more like open you can post anything you don't need to have a big following you can literally use hashtags and just get views out of that whereas on instagram it's a lot harder to grow you need to um yeah so it's a lot harder to grow on uh, instagram and um Yeah this lots of like different stories for example we can talk about the player for Arsenal his name is Zinchenko who is a um Ukrainian footballer and when there was a war between Ukraine and Russia and he openly pretty much backed his country which is fair enough to him that's what everyone would do um yeah but Arsenal had this um thing with a previous footballer a few years back his name is Mesut Ozil he's like a Turkish Muslim footballer and they pretty much forced him to like leave the club in a way because he supported um, muslim people and he was raising awareness for them and uh they didn't really do much about this um the ukrainian footballer zinchenko um they pretty much let him say whatever he wants to say but he got a lot of backlash from the muslim community and he ended up just making his uh, account private and till now if you go on the arsenal like um page you can see all the comments that will say free palestine and they will say oh yeah zinchenko or like kick the play out but arsenal have, has hasn't made any statements but when he came to the other player the turkish player they made a statement saying uh there shouldn't be any politics in football but nowadays you see like this politics everywhere in football blm then israel and russia i mean uh, ukraine and russia and then this all this pressure from israel f- to f- for the football community to back up israel they said they won fund the football if that makes sense because israel is like really powerful they have so much money they're backed by usa and stuff if i'm not wrong yeah. they um they what's it called is it they own i know jewish people own yeah. tottenham but is it israel i'm no no i don't know is it israel I don't really know but there's lots of power from Israel like dif- there's so many different shareholders and stuff and they can like they can do a lot of damage to football as well um sorry I just I just want to ask what was the fo- the Turkish footballer um Mesut Özil Yeah Mesut Özil Okay Yeah 
Uh, sorry, I just know Mr. Ozzy. He's the he's really good at assists and passes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's crazy. So it's so they're muting people. In in other words, yeah, the muting people. Um, for <clears throat> freedom of speech, it's not really a thing. Did you say they shadow ban you? Yeah, they did shadow ban me. So how do you how do you know you've been shadow banned? Well, obviously, if you look at your views, they will be way less compared to your normal views. Mm-hmm. And uh, not to not to flex, obviously, but how many views do you? You know when you get Yeah uh, uh, Depends I get a decent amount Over K uh, Funny enough I made like a post And I was saying How um, Just keep reposting My content Because uh, it's shadow banned And the post that It was like A written message In the post And that That message Got so many likes Compared to my other post It doesn't really make sense The actual content That I, I'm trying to push out That didn't get As many views As the actual thing The message Saying me um, that I got sh- shadow banned and stuff. So it's quite maybe because obviously controversy is something that people follow a lot, isn't yeah. it? Plus, if someone's being silenced, like you, um, are you talking about? Because I know you have a page. It's like Islamic quotes yeah. and things. Mm. So usually people are there for daily reminders and motivation yeah. and mm-hmm. and you know things things like that. Mm. Um, so suddenly when you put out something a bit controversial, it's it's like you, what, what's going on? Why him? You know. Um, yeah, that's crazy. The the meeting, Gareth. Did you want? Did you want to say something? Yeah. So, um, going off of what Daniel was saying, like recently, within the past, literally less than a week, yeah, there's a uh, two footballers who their contract has been um suspended. Is suspended the right word? It is, isn't it? Yeah, suspended or terminated. Yeah, 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 terminated, suspended, because they literally publicly put out on social media that they support Palestine. Uh, I forgot who exactly it was. Daniel Gina? It's three uh, Muslim players. Though. But they're kind of big, isn't it? Like, they're growing. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. kind of big clubs. But, yeah. Are you, and, are you talking about footballers? <laughs> yeah, footballers, yeah. And um, also, like, even... Daniel, I don't know if you saw Mohamed Salah put a statement out. And the way that if you watch the video, like, even the views, the way he said it, he was so cautious because he's scared that he doesn't want to get terminated or suspended yeah. from the club, you know? And on top of that, like, the the two players that got suspended, like, you know, they've got a family to feed, whether they've got their own family or, you know, siblings. So, obviously... But, t- touching on the same, and uh, most other made, it, it looked like it was scripted pretty much. And you it can see in like his it, eyes, so. it was, like, kind of scared to publicly come out. He he had a lot of like bare pressure from um, Muslim the Muslim community. If you look at the comment section you say, Oh yeah, you sold um your soul and stuff and because this guy keeps on posting about Christmas and stuff, he never but yeah, it looks like he became a kafir all of a sudden. What does that mean? Like uh, non religious like Ka- kafir means disbeliever, but yeah. as in he sold his religion for fame or money. Oh. Yeah, because he, Muslim people don't really celebrate Christmas, and you see every. Yeah, no, I've also. seen it. Uh, but beside that, the funny enough, there was like, um, you know, the coach for Liverpool. Yeah. They got he got questioned about the statement that his player made today. He got he said, "Yeah, why did you allow your player to make this statement? Something along those lines." But. The other guy, Zinchenko, the Ukrainian guy, he didn't get asked anything. Mm. They didn't do anything to him at all. No statement from the club, no nothing. Don't you start seeing double standards? Basically? There is double standards. <laughs> Let's talk about the biggest like double standards. Um, so you look at USA and UK, how they are behind Israel and they're funding them like to commit all the crimes that they're committing. But on the other side, they're raising money for Palestine. 10 million in aid or something from UK. Have you seen that? And same with the USA. Um, they are raising money for Palestine and sending it for huma- huma- human humanitarian. Uh, human, uh, I can't even say the word. But anyway, they're sending money to help them out, but they're bombing them at the same time, which don't really make sense to me. Furthermore, uh, Rishi Sunak made this whole statement saying, oh yeah, we are back in. We as in like the whole UK, yeah, UK. are back in uh, Israel, which don't even make sense. If you look all over the UK, there's so many protests about thinking against Israel. And yeah. and even like statement from BBC, like there was uh, this reporter, she made a statement, half an hour later, she, she changed it. 
at the beginning it was against Israel and then it wasn't for Palestine but he, they tried to like yep. you know um, say uh, like we are sorry in a way are you we, talking about when they said people are are you talking about they, when they lied about the yeah, yeah. report? So what happened is biz, uh, a BBC yeah. uh, reporter, she goes, oh, uh, many millions of people or something turned out for a pro-Hamas yeah. uh, protest. Yeah, do exactly. You, yeah. Do you know what that means? Do you know how dangerous that is? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hamas is the terrorist organization, right? In Gaza. People have turned out to support the terrorists. That's what she's trying to say. Then they corrected themselves. It was pro-Palestine. Did you see that? You think that kind of slip would stand if it was the opposite side? They wouldn't. They would not. And um, you're talking about censorship, shushing people and whatnot. Um, actually, I'll come back to this point. But Jamie, for example, you know, you haven't had the chance to speak. You know, you uh, did you say you you heard about the news from Daniel and Garris' video? Let's say um, Daniel and Garris didn't exist. They didn't send you things. TikTok didn't exist and stuff. Where would you have... Because I know you don't... You avoid the news because of it's negative and, and whatnot. But if you came across this kind of uh, reporting that Palestine is bad, Palestine is bad, the Muslims are bad, this is bad. What would your first thought be? As a, just a general neutral person, what is what was your thought? Because you don't have a horse in the race, right? It's not like you're baying on Palestine when you go to Israel. What is your response? Like, what would you think about first? Um, <clears throat> always, since I was younger, I always, I don't jump straight to conclusions and judgments. I like to dig deeper and find the proper like find the reasons and find explanations and proof so I don't just say oh they've said that she said that he said that I like to okay let's let's step back a bit let's find some reasons ask a couple of people maybe then go and do research instead of saying instead of jumping straight the, to the conclusion that oh yeah this has happened these people have done this so they are bad or they're good I wouldn't jump straight away I'd always Go and do my research and find out. And if in case people are lying, I can go find out for that for myself instead of, yeah, instead of jumping straight to conclusions. The the reason I'm asking is because the other day we had, and think about this, is very important. I'm going to ask everyone, whoever answers, answers. They put out propaganda the other day that Hamas, the terrorist group, they killed, they not, no, not just killed. They decapitated. They took off the heads of 40 babies. Now, I'm a person, if anyone hurts a child, there's, uh, there's something in me, I just can't hack it. You know what I mean? I don't know how, what you guys, some people are, if you hurt an animal, you feel that way. Like, if I see animals like a kitten or something getting hurt, I feel the same way. A, a child, you know, people hurting children, it's just something awful, it's disgusting. It's something, it angers me. Yeah? When I read that headline, 40... I, the first thing, if I'm a neutral person, I don't question it. First thing is, what kind of animal chops off the heads of 40 babies? You get angry, isn't it? You get like, what, what, what is this? And then what are they? Hamas. And who are they related to? In the news, they relate to ISIS. ISIS, okay. Swear those are those extremist Muslims. Who, are, who else are they related to? It, the Iraq war is mentioned. The Syria war is mentioned, Afghanistan is mentioned, Taliban is mentioned, Al-Qaeda is mentioned. What's the key thing you always hear? Muslim, 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 Muslim. To the extent, yeah, a 72-year-old man, after hearing all of this stuff, all this propaganda, his neighbour, sorry, no, his, uh, what do you call it, when the landlord he rents out? Tenant. Tenant, yeah. His tenant, a woman, a Palestinian-American woman and her child, six-year-old baby, he went into their house got a knife and then think about this who stabs a six-year-old baby 26 times and kills and says all muslims need to die extremist. that's an extremist you He's had 40 saying, yeah. decapitated babies but a 72 oh sorry did i forget to mention where's this man based was he israeli maybe he's getting revenge is he israeli no do you know what he was he's just a random guy in america illinois no Illinois, a random guy in America just rocks up to a house because of what he's seen in the media and what he's seen in the news. Their animals bomb them, kill them. This is the kind of stuff they're feeding us. And I just think, what what's actually going on? Think about this for a second, yeah? You're just, we're watching news all the time. We're on YouTube all the time. And there's no like cause for concern or caution that I'm telling people this fake stuff 
people are going to go crazy. But in my head, it feels like that's what pe- they want people to do. They want people to go crazy. But what do you see? The Palestinian kind of protest. Everyone's kind of peaceful. Isn't it? And then you have what Daniel mentioned about, uh, what is it called again? Shadow banning. Shadow yeah. banning posts. I'm sure people be, oh, actually, no, I'm right. There's uh, Islamic scholars, Muslim scholars, like American ones, British ones. What does um, scholars mean? Um, what does scholars mean? Scholars, uh, by scholars I mean, uh, you know, let's press, uh, let's put it in a simple term, professors in Islamic studies. Yeah, oh, basically imams. Imams, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So we call them alim, ulama, yeah, th- things like this, muftis. They've been speaking out against this, obviously, yeah. Uh, the same way I'm sure they would have spoken out if it wasn't a Muslim or if it wasn't Palestinian. Again, Palestinians aren't just Muslims, there's Christian ones, J- uh, Jewish ones and so on and so forth. Um, the imams, I think it was Omar Sulaiman. There's another um, imam or like a Muslim scholar in the UK. I can't remember his name, something with a Y. His Facebook account got blocked. Uh, what, what do you call it? Banned. Fully banned. Why? Because he's talking in support of Palestine. This is getting crazy because they can't hack it. And it, it makes you question that. Where, where is this going? Yeah. Because another thing is, you know, in the UK, how, how it works is this. Yeah. Uh, do, do you guys not ask You know like uh, was it? Did you mention about They gave Palestinian people support And then Israel support At the same time Yeah They donated to Palestinians I believe it was Eight million pound They mm-hmm. donated to Or four million pound Or something like that And they donated Donated to Israel About like four billion Yeah And then you start asking Where the hell are you getting Four billion pound Or million pound Even if it's one million Yeah let's go with one million Where are you getting One million pound from do you guys know where the one million pound comes from? Taxes. Oh, taxes. Taxes. Yeah. I go to work. I work my socks off. I'm sweating. I come home. And you know that little deduction, national insurance and you have tax. From that money, that's, you know, contributing to a bullet. That's contributing to a bomb that's going to be used to kill a child or kill a, a woman or kill an innocent person. Bomb a hospital. And it makes you question what the hell is going on. And, you know, at least tell the truth on the news. If you're going to use my money to do something... Like that and feed that, you know, to at least tell the truth. Let me know where my money is going. But this is the country we're living in. It makes you start questioning so much, like, what is actually happening? And then you see this shadow banning, muting people, stopping people from discussing, speaking about it. Um, And then, uh, what I wanted to ask something else. But um, this is not the first time. That's what I wanted to say. This is not the first time it's happened. Okay. It's not the first time we've seen this kind of genocide, killing and stuff like that. We were speaking last night, um, and I'll let you take the floor, I've been speaking for a bit. But we've seen this in South Africa, it's called apartheid, yeah, where they separate, it's like racial separation, yeah. You guys stay here, and only the, the pure people, the Israeli people are allowed on this side, yeah. And you guys can't have a passport, you can't work here, you can't move here, you can't leave your country, you have to stay there. This happened in South Africa before, and I think from what you were saying, a similar thing with the civil war and stuff it happened in Sri Lanka so do you, do you want to explain uh, Garris? What? Yeah, yeah? Alright so as you know the um, Sri Lankan Tamil and a similar thing happened in um, Sri Lanka where the government were terrorising the people uh, like the um, yeah they were like raping kids and women killing them for no reason and um, like the singlish people I think uh, I don't know if I'm wrong but the Singlish people took over and the Tamil people only had control of certain parts. And it was a civil war going on from 1983 to 2009. And because of that, a uh, group called the Tamil Tigers uh, were formed or LTT as, you know, not many people know them as LTT. It's just inside the country, but outside the country is Tamil Tigers. And yeah, they fought back like what, um, what's that group called again? Uh, um, Hamas? Hamas, yeah. And then, um, yeah, the government couldn't get them under control. And then I think, I'm not sure if I'm right, but they got other countries involved to, to basically kill the group, the Tamil Tigers. And then eventually, the leader just gave up on May 2009. And yeah, and they killed the leader as well. So just to understand, and because I still don't know mm. enough about it, um, this Tamil Tigers group, were they... What was the point? Why were they being like attacking people and stuff? What was the point of it? They were like, because the way that the government was treating our people was not right, you know. Um. So as in they were segregating them or they were treating them differently to the normal citizens. Is that what it is? 
Yeah, kind of. You can say that. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah. So they basically kill the Sri Lankan army, which is not Tamil. It's mainly Sinhalese people. So not as many lives were lost compared to Palestine because it was much longer. Because uh, in my country, my origin, um, it was 26 years, but Palestine is 75, isn't it? But still, many innocent lives were lost. And it's just not fair. Like, I thought that it only happened to, like, Sri Lanka. Now, um, was it Israel, Palestine? Because now, you know, through TikTok, I knew. But then after talking to you last night, like, it's such... The sad thing is it's so, like, normalised, you can say, isn't it? In, like, Middle East and Asian countries and, like, they don't get justice. Yeah, and that's uh, that's what we're seeing increasingly. That's the norm. Uh, Danielle, you wanted to say something? Oh. Right, I just want to make uh, another thing very clear. So, you know, Rishi Sunak, um, he made a statement saying, oh, just give me one second, let me read it off here. He said something. Okay, so Sunak, yeah, he made a statement saying, we want you to win. As in Israel wants, like, he wants Israel to win. But what are they winning? What are they actually winning? I guess someone could say, oh, they're winning against terrorism. It doesn't, really, it doesn't really make sense on top of that. He's been meeting all the Middle Eastern um, leaders, like Saudi, Qatar, and all of them. And it's it's all, like, double-sided. Like, you're funding them to kill people, then sending money to help them. And on top of that, you're taking two sides at the same time, which don't even make sense. But really, his support, it seems like, He's taking one side, really, in it. Uh, the the support for one side is a lot m- bigger than the other one. And Biden said this as well. He said, uh, "What's it called? I support this something along the lines of I support this team, meaning the Israeli side. Mm-hmm. But this team, yeah, okay, support you support Israeli side. At the end of the day, you're supporting the side who's bombing civilians in order to locate find the terrorists. That don't sound like a side that you should be supporting. And these are our leaders. These are the people leading our countries." So it makes you question. Did you want to say something else, by the yeah, way? Yeah, in in terms of media, so we got BBC News, Sky News, what are the other ones that we have, like British ones? Name me another. Yeah, so from all of them, yeah, the only good one that will show like both sides is Channel 4. Other than that, the rest are so biased. They will just pick Israel every single time. So let's talk about, for example, you were talking about the babies, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And so everyone questioned that statement. They were like, oh, where's the pictures? So they did release a picture. And guess what? That picture was AI generated. AI generated the yeah. actual picture was a dog. And somehow they managed to make it into a baby. And someone actually found out. And it was an AI generated picture. And it was in a decapitated baby. Wasn't it yeah. a burnt? It was like charred. Yeah, yeah, yeah burnt. something like that. And uh, on top of that, there's um, this um, TikToker that came across. And she's like a... Um, what you call it? She does makeup on TikTok. And she got like lots of brand deals and stuff. And she came out publicly saying, oh yeah, I support Palestine and stuff. And she got dropped by a few companies. Mm-hmm. And then one company reached out and they said, we'll pay you double what you're earning right now. Make a video just saying, or oh, you do not support um, Palestine no more. On top of that, say you're supporting Israel. Not just like, say you're not supporting either side. You need to say no to Palestine and yes to Israel. And she said she won't do it. And then the biggest thing yeah, I came across is called this website called Canary Mission. Have you heard about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, yeah, yeah. I told you, in it. No, no, no. I found out. I don't know if I found out. Or... Wait, wait. Yeah, I've heard about it. I don't know if you told me or found out on TikTok, but it's crazy. Okay, so let yeah. me talk, tell you about it. So this website is for... Pro-Palestinian activists, not even pro-Hamas, yeah, pro-Hamas, Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Uh, pro-Palestinian. So people that support Palestine, like me and you, for example. I know where you're talking. Okay, about. okay, okay. Yeah. So it's called Canary Mission Blacklist for Pro-Palestinian Activists. Mm-hmm. So many people, they saw so many people in there. They put a picture of your face, your address, your phone number, your age, and where you work. And so many people actually got kicked out from their job because of that thing. Mm. I heard of this, yeah. You know how mad that is? We could, we, uh, like, us guys could be on the next. 
<laughs> it's not even a joke, fam. The thing is, as you don't need to have a big platform to raise awareness. It could be such a small pa- platform. Like mine, it's not. I mean, it's decently. I mean, <laughs> it's all right. But I think like smaller content creators, like with 1K or less followers, and they still gain like band and stuff. Like, imagine they're so scared that such small creators can raise such big awareness. And us, like, we're doing it just for awareness. We ain't doing it for views and stuff. Hope, like, um, everyone, like, you know, understood the point and looked at the bigger picture because there's a lot of, like, bias. You need to, like, do a lot of research behind it. If you take one point, you could just have it all wrong. Yeah. As um, Jamie said, he, he won't just take one point. He will do his own research and stuff. But, yeah, there's nothing much more to say about it, honestly. No, that's... Um that's honestly the truth. Uh, I don't think. Free Palestine, though, right? <laughs> Say again. Free Palestine. Yeah. No, but you know, it, um, just to leave it in a, on a in a good way. Um, what you said, to be honest, the, there's no better way to say it. Really, is uh, even even this video that we're doing, we're just discussing. Yeah, but like we're seeing, yeah. even discussing is yeah. not allowed. Apparently, you know, if you're getting shadow banned, if you're getting stalked by this canary missions or whatever they're called if you're getting um hounded like this mm. to stop yourself from communicating then that's when the problem starts in it if we stop talking about it mm. then that's it the support stops you know what i mean so look end of the day mm-hmm. we have to make it clear oh yeah i f- forgot to make one point sorry uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Before we end it. so um they done a little protest like a few days uh, uh in usa like, it was like israeli people and they were like, or oh, whatever they think the leader is doing, he does. They don't wanna like be part of it, and that's like actual Israeli people. Oh, I, I, have you I, have you seen I it? I know it um, as as in, in the USA. Israeli people are rejecting their own government. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they went yeah, in yeah. the USA. I don't know what place that was, and yeah, to raise awareness. I have to add something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to add something. I've been Palestine before. Yeah, Israel even. Yeah. I've been Tel Aviv airport. Yeah. I know how they treat. I, yeah. I'm I'm Bangladeshi. I'm not Palestinian. Yeah. But the way I was treated as a, being a Muslim, yeah. because I was wearing Muslim clothing, yeah. this um, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I was not comfortable there. I was not welcome there. Yeah, they held me up at the airport for no reason, and they go to me, "When did you last travel?" Whatever. I traveled when I was twelve years old. What do you want with that information? What What's going on there? And then they ask some bakwas information that I don't realize. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're free to go. Only Muslims seem to have security checks, mm-hmm. by the way, in in is Israel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you go to, you know, the wall. Mm-hmm. They have this big wall. Mm-hmm. I've seen it with my own eyes. People are patrolling mm-hmm. soldiers with mm-hmm. big assault rifles. they got pistols in each pocket. they got grenades. I think why they look like little canisters. they got everything ready. Now, explain to me one thing. And people can say, oh, that's a conspiracy. Even right-wing people who support Israel are questioning this. Mm-hmm. You know, the wall, mm-hmm. yeah? Before any of this happened on 7th of October, and I just want to put this out there. Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, his own people, the Israelis, they didn't want him. They said he's ruining the country, he's ruining their state, um, and he's bringing uh, you know Israel down. They wanted to vote him out and take him to court, and so on and so forth. Suddenly, all those forces who are usually at that wall, where they know Gaza has Hamas, um, for six hours there's no guard there. For six hours, no one knows that terrorists are breaking through the fence. No one knows for six hours. The most heavily guarded, and also they had the best intelligence in the world. Six hours, where were they? Yeah. So then obviously there's people saying, you know, did they do this on purpose so they could start cleansing Gaza, getting rid of the Muslims, killing? Because it looks like it. No, even Muslim, Palestinian. Palestinian, my bad. Yeah, but it's to not get about Muslims or Exactly. Is it? Are they doing it to get rid of Palestinians to clean, ethnically clean and cleanse that region so they can make it Israel? There's a question that has to be asked, and there's a question that. The normal media seem to be ignoring. Anywho, um, sorry, it was just to answer, you know, what you said um, about people questioning the prime minister. Mm-hmm. Just to finish off, okay, I wanted to say a very important point because we said we want to discuss. We never said we want to attack people. We never said we want to insult anyone. That's not the point here. The point is, innocent civilians are being affected. Innocent lives are being taken. Uh, rights are being taken away. Irregular people, you and I. 
our social media, something very basic, uh, an entertainment system, a new system is being blocked off. That's not correct. End of the day, any civilian, any human being, uh, you know, who has not, who is innocent, should not be killed. It doesn't matter what side. I'm sure we're all in agreement on that. But the point and the fact is, the majority of the world leaders, not the world people, the world leaders, they seem to be doing the most damage to one group of people. And that is why right now, if you are not speaking in support of those people, there's something going, there's something going wrong there. Read, watch videos if you have to, look into it. Like Daniel said, give proper time, give proper effort to research into this. Because one day, just like Iraq, just like Afghanistan, you could look back and you could think, I was on the wrong side of history. Just want to make one more point. Yeah. And um, I'm pretty sure everyone has Snapchat nowadays. Yeah. If you go on the, the actual map in Snapchat and you go towards Gaza, you can see how if you click on the Gaza section where the war is going on and then you go back to Israel, you can see the a huge I've difference. Seen, seen, you got yeah. people just going to the beach and stuff. If you're under yeah. war, under that. war, why would you be just like r going around partying and everything? And then you go to this Gaza section, you see every single person crying, building stone apart and everything. It just doesn't make sense. It's like plain and like black and white. You can see it right away. Mm. You don't even need to read anything. Just look at the map. It's there, real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing much more to say. Um, in the comments, can you just put free Gaza <laughs> so you can reach a bigger, you know, audience? Yeah, end and, of the day, uh, open we, people's eyes, I guess. Yeah, there's only there's four of us here. You know, some of us have a lot to say. Some of us have more. I think we take a, a listening approach to learn and understand, myself included. But uh, one of the best things you could do is, uh, of course, share videos that you see, share important, accurate information with others because people need to know this. These are human lives being taken. It could easily have been us as well. Yeah. Uh, share the correct information if you. Uh, learned something from this video if you uh, took some benefit from this video please do leave a like on the video uh, subscribe if you're new here we will be talking about important topics we'll also be talking about other topics of interest um, and yeah well, one, one disclaimer before ending yeah. the video um, all of us are from different back backgrounds so you got Gary who is Christian uh, Sadiq who is Muslim mm -hmm. and I'm Muslim as well um, he's Bengali and Pakistani um, thingy is Sri Lankan and Jamie is British just want to say it's not there's nothing biased here like everyone has their own beliefs here but we still stick to one point I'm pretty sure all of us do yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah that's all yeah. we I want to say that's hopefully it. next week it's not going to be as more as intense as this something more light yeah. but yeah um, yeah. yeah raise if awareness enjoyed, I guess if you enjoyed leave a like on the video um and share this video with others and of course we'll be putting very important links in the description uh, especially and including uh, charity links where you can donate to help people uh, in Palestine uh, but until next time thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time